Why do so many millions of Americans sit at home every day waiting for President Trump to come back? Why are so many millions of Americans asking if President Trump is going to run again in 2024? Because they are looking for a leader. Americans need someone to lead right now. I'm honored to serve with the members of the House Freedom Caucus. And just like my friend Congressman Perry said, we are leading on the issues. But we are calling on the leader of this conference to lead with us. Americans need someone who will stand for them, who will fight for them, who will be their voice here at the People's House. That's what we are elected to do. We are elected to secure the rights of Americans. And I'm tired of politicians thinking they can gamble away the rights of American citizens. Ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to Congress, you can caucus, you can conference with Republicans or Democrats. There is no independent conference. There are only two options. Sadly, since coming to Congress in January, I've seen firsthand that Representatives Kinzinger and Cheney have done more to hurt the Republican conference than help them. While working for Adam Schiff and Nancy Pelosi, these members should not be allowed in our closed door private meetings or even the Republican cloakroom. We had important meetings yesterday in the cloakroom. I saw Kinzinger in there. Why is he able to be a part of those conversations while well, he goes back and confers with the opposition. Both of these politicians, Kinzinger and Cheney, have worked more with Pelosi than they have with myself, my colleagues, or even Leader McCarthy. Before I ever took office, before I was sworn in as a United States Congresswoman, Adam Kinzinger took to Twitter to attack me by name. I didn't attack back, I didn't tweet back, I picked, up the, I picked up the phone and I called him. I said, Adam, I don't think we've met. I'm Lauren. Maybe we could have a conversation before you start attacking your colleagues. He agreed with me, but he has never come and had a conversation with me. He's never sat down with me. No, when he sees me, he goes the other way, puts his head down and walks on. Both Liz and Adam have stood by and simped for Pelosi as she has consolidated power in her office and trampled the Constitution. That's really no surprise. Adam has gone on leftist shows to once again call me out by name, saying I'm not going to name members of Congress. Oh, but there's one I'll name, Lauren Boebert. Interesting. When I was falsely accused of leading a reconnaissance tour at the United States Capitol, when I had my mother my husband and our four sons here in the Capitol? Where was Kinzinger? Where was Cheney to step up in my defense? When my family received death threats, neither used their platforms to ease tensions. But when Nancy Pelosi took the unprecedented and historic action of removing my esteemed colleagues, ranking member of the Judiciary Committee, Jim Jordan, and chairman of the Republican Study Committee, the largest committee in the Republican conference. Jim Banks, off of the partisan January 6th committee, blocking and tackling while Adam was filling out his paperwork to join the committee, which I call impeachment 3.0. Adam and Liz have been on CNN more than most Democrats. They've attacked Republicans at every single turn. In fact, one of these media hungry hacks even went to both the New York Times and CNN in one week to attack me, in one week. Really, Adam? That's the best you can do for the American people while Democrats are destroying every foundation of our country? It's pathetic. Even our incompetent attending physician has te <laughs> could test these members positive for Trump derangement syndrome. They are a cancer to our party and to our caucus, and they must be ex expelled from our conference.